Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Encypher Gaming, and here we are with Crash Bandicoot 2. I always try and start the recording as early as possible in the loading, just so we can get the nostalgic menus coming in here. Especially this part. Okay, Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash Bandicoot 2. Vortex Strikes Back. Here we go with a new game, and here's Mr. Krabs as Dr. Cortex. Personally, he's a legendary actor, legendary voice actor, and he does Cortex really well. I really like the laugh. Unfortunately, I talked a little bit over it, but I tried to shut up as soon as I heard it. He should do the laugh more in... Uh, this game, if not the next, but that laugh is just absolutely perfect for Cortex. But also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Yeah. And there we are. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. So there's the introduction of Engine and Coco. Um, first things first, while there's no music, uh, I just wanted to show you guys how he runs. You know, the animation's improved. There's more frames. It's, um, it's a little bit modified, and obviously his idol is more... Uh, lively he's jumping around a bit he's doing more idle stuff like the the sigh there um you know it's just way fleshed out um what i would put this as is a mixture between one and three uh it's a really good mixture too um obviously three improves on some things but um overall two is a great mixture of one and three it's got you know the the forest that we're in right now but it's also got uh, the improved movements, such as the slide, and boy, does this control fun. It, it's just fun. Um, yeah. And then it's music, which we're going to get to in a second. Here we are. I just absolutely love the soundtrack for Crash 2. Um, there are some other songs that aren't that great, uh, as with every single game, especially Crash, but um, overall, they're all good, but... There are just some legendary ones in Crash 2, and Turtle Woods is one of them. Um, unfortunately, though, I think Crash 2 kind of blows its load early. Um, what happens is all the really, really memorable good levels are within the first two warp rooms, the first ten levels, and then the rest is kind of meh to me. But we'll see when we get there, but... I already know, okay, there's Snow Go, there's Hang 8, there's the pits, yeah. Um, there's already four of the ten, kind of. I'm going to shut up here. We will speak again. The warp room music too is amazing. I mean, Crash 3 warp room is kind of like Crash's theme song, but this is very underrated. You can just see how well this controls by how easy it is to do the slide jump. It's just, it's just intuitive. Uh, might as well start off. I'm just gonna go in a row. Uh, I'm not gonna choose favorites for this one. Just letting you guys enjoy a little bit of music. I decided, um, I talk a lot, especially when it comes to something I like, but I do want you guys to kind of experience the vibes that I, not the vibes, but the overall mood that I'm kind of getting from all this. And one way that 
crash really gets the mood going is through the music. So I'm going to be a lot quieter unless you say not to. But obviously I will point out stuff that's different from Crash 1 or better than the other two as I said I would always do. Body slam. One thing too here, bonus music, completely unique. It's one thing I, I really appreciate too. Um, as I said in the other ones, uh, Crash 1 is about an hour long soundtrack. This is two hours long and Crash 1 is about 46 minutes, I don't know. Somewhere in the range of three quarters of an hour, so not even as long as Crash 1. Forgot about that shit. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this in my other playthrough, but uh, in between, anyway, I've gotten a lot more hands-on on the demo between uh, Insanity Beach, uh, Hang 8, and Heavy Machinery, and in between, ooh, wow, that was really close, um, in between that time, you know, my first time I played it, I sucked ass, I could not get used to um, the controls, kind of, second time I played it, absolutely nailed it just I died once and then obviously there was the time that you're supposed to die on hang 8 when you're trying to just speed run 100% the level in one load screen um, which I'll kind of show you in a bit if it lets me um, but yeah like I don't know why all of a sudden it's just it's back and it's not because I played these because I was playing these right before I go and tried the demo the first time but I don't know so everything that I had worried about the controls with, I don't know if I mentioned it in the other playthrough, is gone. Because I've played it two or three more times since then, and it's gone without a hitch. I should have gotten hit there. That, yeah. I really like the controls. I, the controls are the most important part about Crash. And to see them get it right, like, make it as smooth as this right here... This, this shit is delicious. This is just video game control porn for platformers. That's all it is. Platformers are like, how good can you make the controls? Oh, you know what? I'll grab all these. I might as well get close to the extra life. Or not. Oh, even got it. They really uh, tried to improve the camera work, make it a lot more dynamic, makes you feel like you're actually running through the jungle here. This is just kind of first impressions compared to Crash 1. Here we go. Got these stupid little gopher things. It's going to waste all my time, but... Oh yeah, don't have to worry about any uh, boss rooms or any of that. Uh, bonus rooms, Tana rooms, that whole thing. Don't gotta worry about that anymore. So yeah, that's what I was talking about with the whole streamlined gem and crystal and bonus and saves. Definitely a big ups. Here we got the crystal, basically just saying, hey, you beat the level. Now you can go on to the next, essentially, even though you get a choice of five, but you gotta... Show that you completed all five, essentially. This one's placed right at the end. In Crash 3, they kind of place them towards the middle, almost. Oh, and I got all the boxes, obviously, by that other one. And then we're missing the blue one, but we'll come back to that one. I forget how the gems kind of work. And I'm f Oh, are we going to see the dance? Hell yeah, we are. Yeah! Love the dance. Well done, Crash! I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. I kind of like how that actually looks like film. I mean, obviously it's a hologram, but the camera orbiting around totally looks like film grain. 
and the whole lighting and all that. Snow goes next, another legendary track. So hopefully, hopefully I'm wrong. Like, honestly, I hope that I'm wrong and this game doesn't blow its load early. But, I mean, you start off with Turtle Woods, then Snow Go. Like, listen to this. I'm not going to get that yet. Like, this is amazing. Like, this song. And then Hang 8's up next? Like, what? So, hopefully I'm wrong and it doesn't blow its load early. I really hope. Okay. Um, in the Insane Trilogy remasters, they totally have it. So, when you hit something, like an enemy, while you have Aku Aku going on, then you pause for, like, a quarter of a second, and that can fuck you up. I'm not saying it's bad, and in, in fact, it's probably a good change, because there are a lot of moments where, um, as you saw there with the penguin that's right near the end, uh, right near that edge, it's like, if you had that split second to kind of just catch yourself before you play yourself, then uh, all, all things are good. Oh, see, like that, yep. Yeah. Okay, these ones just gotta slide. But already seeing some nice variation, you know, they go, okay, we'll start you off with the uh, a jungle forest kind of level, and then we're immediately gonna throw you into something unique. That I like that. They know what they've already done, and they're like, here, here's how we're gonna change it a little bit. Now there is a, a little glitch to kind of get that one. I've never been able to pull it off, but I've seen it done, and it involves this box, and you gotta somehow fucking like slide bounce the bitch and. And uh, I'm not going to try it, because obviously I'm incapable, but here we go. Here's a secret room. I do like uh, this form of bonus way better, um, because then it doesn't rely on you finding secret paths, like such as heavy machinery to get embryo. Uh, you don't have to... Uh, what, was it? what would it be? I guess it would be kind of like Mario accidentally jumping down a path that should have killed you but it doesn't like I feel like it's a little cheap uh, on the cheap side versus this it's a lot more fair plus it's not necessary which is the best part and once again super original track that's not like the main level man I love this song Oh, there goes that shit. I think I'm gonna be good on lives, all things considered. Okay, this is where they fuck you. Look at that. Already pulling shit. Can I stop the bitch? Aw. I didn't mean to stomp it like that. I meant body slam. Yeah! <laughs> I usually just uh, glide past them or jump or spin or whatever, but... Because, I mean, the body slam is really only for breaking boxes that can't otherwise be broken. Like, look at that. It It's pretty useless in a lot of this level. Or a lot of this whole game, actually. 72 out of 74. I'm missing something. And I saw the two hollows back there, but where was it for? Okay, as long as I don't fucking slide jump into a pit, we're good here. There it is. You gotta hold the X. And, uh, oh, that's what it was. Uh, going back to the playing of the demo for the remasters, what I wasn't internalizing was the hold X to jump higher. And if we see here... That totally is a mechanic already. Like, here's holding. All right, you know, we gotta get a better reference frame here. Okay, that hits. That does not hit. That's tapping. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this a little better. Come on. Okay. Tap. Jump. Tap. 
yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same rules here. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, it just barely makes it to the line. Here it goes way over the line. His fists are over that line there. So, definitely a thing. And I just never really understood that. I don't know why. I guess it's just a um, more heat of the moment thing. You always kind of feel the harder you press the button, the harder you'll hit. Just like in fighting games. The uh, harder you mash, the faster it should go. Um, so I guess holding the higher you go. Just like uh, Mario. So yeah, same rules, but I just never really took it that way. Thank you